Sin Productions comes a space opera adventure like no other. Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol! In our last episode, Bubba and friends, now trapped in an alternate universe, were nearly found out by what appeared to be an alive and well Admiral Johnny Ray. But this was only an imposture, for it turns out that Johnny Ray was in reality Saurus Lear in disguise. So, as protocol would have it, apparently, according to Mr. Spot anyway, Captain, or rather Admiral Bubba Stargon at this point must inform the Emperor of Earth on the current situation. Greetings, Edsel. I understand congratulations are in order for you, Captain Stargon, or should I say Admiral, as you are now sole commander of the space fleet. Due to the unfortunate demise of Admiral Johnny Ray. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Mr. Prime. I mean, uh, uh, Emperor, uh, uh, sir. <laughs> uh, that, that's uh, really nice of you to, to mention. Yes, and now your report on your conference with the Martian delegation. Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, the conference never really uh, got started, <laughs> as it seems we had a uh, rather a peculiar uh, I interruption here. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, uh, some, some uh, cool news uh, came out of it. Um, explain. Oh, boy. Well, let's see. It all started when, uh, uh, well, uh, no, let me back up. Um, uh, 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 Captain, uh, I mean, Admiral, perhaps I wh what? can better explain the situation. Oh. To his majesty. Yeah, um, sure. Give it a shot, Spot. Uh, <laughs> hey, it, it, it rhymed. Your Excellency, uh, we nearly had a disaster on our hands with an imposter boarding the ship claiming to be Admiral Johnny Ray, but was actually a terrorist masquerading as the late Admiral. But fortunately, our keen eyes were able to find him out. And he's now our prisoner. Mm, terrorist? What, what terrorist? Mm. Well, it's quite a prize, Your Excellency. It's none other than the leader of the resistance, Dr. Saris Lear. What? I, um, oh, oh, I, I thought he was dead. Um, well, he's not, but I guess he soon will be. Well, huh? after proper interrogation procedures have been conducted and completed, yes. Dr. Lear will be shot out of an airlock as standard procedure with summary execution of well, terrorists uh, and traitors. No, th those uh, rules are hereby uh, blade. You are not to harm, Dr. Lear, until you receive further word from my office. Uh, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, well done. Hold your position until you receive, uh, again, further instructions from the throne. Oh, um, out. The emperor talks to us from the head? Come on. What? Uh, well, that's not dignified. No, Bubba. But... What? Never mind. Strange. Doesn't want us to carry out the standard order with traitors. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Guess he thinks he knows something. Perhaps we can find out more what's afoot in the interrogation. Oh, yeah. And later in the interrogation chamber. Booze, you and Pristine are to stand by, lest the good doctor suffer any ill effects in the huh? course of this interrogation. Now hang on, Spot. The Emperor said we weren't supposed to do any of that stuff to him. But, Bubba, we're not supposed to discuss that sort of matter in front of the prisoner, but nevertheless, you've already done it. After all, the Emperor only said we couldn't follow through with the execution. As far as interrogation, well, I didn't really hear anything saying we couldn't. Uh-huh. Now listen here, buddy boy. I'm the Admiral around here. You're getting a little too big for your britches, as far as I'm concerned. What's your problem with the course of this action, Papa? You've been acting awfully odd here of late. I'm acting odd? I mean, you people are plum cra- I, uh, 
Uh, well, you know, uh, look, we've had uh, imposters and whatnot. I just got through having to, you know, get rid of the Admiral. <laughs> you know, and, and so all that nonsense, uh, yeah, I'm a little on edge. Uh, who knows what's next, you know? All the more reason to get answers from the prisoner. Oh, yeah, good point there, Spot. All right, booze, stand by on the morphine. <laughs> Oh, I hope I'm not too late. I do hate to miss a good interrogation. <laughs> Starkisser, what the hell are you doing here? Papa, as her allies, the Martians, have a stake in this as well. Oh. Oh, yeah. Dr. Lear, you were presumed dead. How is it you escaped your demise? Simple. I faked my death so that I could operate secretly. And at some point, you assume the identity. Admiral Johnny Ray, due to Johnny Ray's obscene sexual obsession with my daughter Reptilian, he began snooping about in her business and stumbled upon the truth that I was still alive. But I saw this as an opportunity to lure him out so that I could kill him and assume his identity. It was no easy task, as his attack, cat bodyguard, pristine jet, what? Lord, pristine cathedral. Oh. You, hmm? You're alive! Uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, I, I uh, escaped uh, uh, across it. Uh, I oh, faked my death, too. Uh, <laughs> That's impossible. I, I swore you were deserving. Yeah, yeah, don't distract what? us from the main deal here, Dr. Sarsley. I can see what you're trying to pull here. So you, you thought you snuffed out the kitty cat, but you were wrong, buddy. Now, let's see. Uh, you know anything about, you know, wormholes? What? Wormholes? If I may, mm, Bubba. Listen well, here. Yeah. Sorry, so chap. Huh? Here we go back quite a ways. After what? all, I was once your son-in-law. Wait, what? And now that you've been revealed as some sort of shape changer, oh, yeah. I have to know. Yes. How did you achieve that ability? No, no, Spot. That's not what I want to know. I want to know. Did your daughter, my ex-wife Reptilian, also possess this ability? Well, yes, Bo. Yes, she does. Damn her! She could have... I mean, she could have taken the form of... Of a... Of a man? Uh... Well, if she wanted to... Yes. Oh, d damn her! Oh, God! I mean, and she just... She never let me be the bottom! And, of course, the operative phrase here is want to. Oh, she never would! No, no, no! She could have given me what was lacking in our marriage! Oh, God! I'm so glad I divorced that little bitch! And sold her off to the Emperor. Not only did it give us a great treaty between Earth and Mars, but it also helped me to become who I really am. What the hell? Um, it, what, uh, hey, what? Battle stations! Oh, man! Under attack! It, it's the Venusians! Oh, no, not those bitches! Oh, no! Is right. In the middle of all these revelations, we're suddenly interrupted by the Venusians. Well, we'll have to tune in next time to find out how this turns out in the next exciting episode of The Adventures of Bubba, Bubba Stargon, Stargon and the Uranus Patrol. Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol is written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson, with music provided by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources.